Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be doing a local SEO audit for a dentist. That's right, a local SEO audit for a dentist. So I got an audit request from a local dentist. They have a couple of branches. We're going to go ahead and dive right in and examine their website, delve into it. By the time I'm done, I'm going to give you a local SEO audit for your technical SEO as well as your ranking factors for your local GeoGrid to show you where you're ranking and what to do to improve it. Let's go ahead and dive in and get started. So as far as the website, I like the colors and everything. One thing you want to do, especially nowadays, when someone's scrolling your website, you don't want this menu right here to disappear. I want it to follow me. So when I scroll, it follows me. Because people have a tendency, if they don't see it in front of their eyeballs, they'll be like, how do I contact this person? All right? I like the fact you got this five-star pop-up review. I want you know your icons and everything. I want them to always follow people around. I want your phone number. Click to call. It is not, it is not click to call. It needs to be your map or address is connected to your actual GMV. Let's make sure of that. It is. That's great. Dentist top rated family serving St. Charles area. That's perfect. Um, let's make sure that's an actual H1 header. Perfect. That is an H1. And you did a good job. You only have one H1. So many times I look at sites and they have more than one H1. You have your images. Looks pretty lots of good content coupons i'd want to see awesome you got a youtube video as well youtube video channel i'll look at that your gmb this is not your actual gmb but i really 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 like this stuff right here because it dials into the geolocation and your actual location so when you're telling people about it and they see the location you have bold text, which is known to help SEO. Google actually just talked about this. Bold text, bold text, great. And you're highlighting the specific keywords and things that you do. Great. I do would I would want your GMB actually embedded on the side. I would want, you know, not just in the footer, but I'd want, if you will, um, your GMB reviews actually embedded as text inside the website. Okay, but overall looking at the site looks good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go look at, if you will, your Google Core Vitals, see if you pass that as well. We're going to run a couple of tests. Now, as far as your actual GMB, let's pull that open and look at your actual GMB and see what you are or are not doing. Maybe we can improve. So all these little terms right here is what people are saying is important to them. So you want to pay attention to all this stuff, right? You always want to like, or what we call upvote, the reviews that are good. And we always, always, always want to reply to our reviews. Always, okay? Make that a habit. As well, since you're a dentist, you're probably open a lot of times, either five to seven days a week, most of the time. Um, I want to be posting on my GMB at least five days a week, and you are not. I like how you're posting it. I like that you're doing the share map. You're doing a lot of good things. It looks like either someone was doing SEO or someone knows what they're doing when it comes to your GMB post, but it's not complete. Um, if you were to look at how I do GMB reviews, it's a little bit, or posts, it's a little bit different. Um, but overall, you got things going in the right direction. So let's go ahead. As far as your core vitals, you do not pass. You're failing your core vitals. And we this right here, this is not good. Okay, core vitals was one of the latest, if you will, Google core updates that happened. And we want to make sure you're passing. I'm going to give you this audit report. It lists out all the technical issues I'm mentioning here. Your biggest problem is your online SEO is poor and your performance or, if you will, poor vitals and technical SEO is bad. So we need to get those numbers fixed, but that's not that big of a deal. We can fix that within a day or two and have you going in the right direction as far as on-page SEO. Now, as far as actually ranking, let's go ahead and take a look at this. 
Uh, for the term dentist near me, great. You are actually ranking in the five mile radius in the top three, which means you're dominating the top three, but still room for improvement. We could take these right here that are fours and fives and sevens and eights and turn these into ones and twos and threes, which means anytime I'm in that area and I'm searching for you, I will find you versus not finding you. Not finding you is obviously not good, which means you're missing out on phone calls, which means you're missing out on patience and money. Then once we get this little five mile geogrid all completely green like a cabbage patch, we want to go 10 miles out. That's probably where we're about going to limit it 10 to 15 miles for a dentist. Generally, most people want a dentist near them within 10 miles or less, and you probably already know that. But you're doing a great job. Just need to fix some of the technical SEO issues. And if you would like help with any of this, I'm going to send all of this reporting over to you via email, just as you wanted. But if you need help with it, um, you are in the St. Louis area. It's going to wind up, yeah, St. Charles, Illinois. So let's go over here to St. Charles. Population. Pretty sure it's where I think it's at. Yeah. I could get you dominating this. Give me two give me two months and I could have you dominate that entire area. It's only fifty-two thousand in population, so it's only going to be two hundred and fifty a month. I'd need five hundred dollars and I'd have that entire thing completely green. So if you need any help or assistance, please contact me. I'm going to drop this email over to you. If you want my actual audit spreadsheet, comment below and I'll get that to you. You guys have a great day and be blessed. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved.